Well, I think that basically well, if we can try to um, get the government to understand that there are some organisations that need to be supported and others that possibly need to be let, let loose, um, there are tons and tons of charities, some running more run some being run more efficiently than others. The ones that are being run efficiently should be supported more. The ones that aren't possibly should be left left to go. Um, I think the sort of matching schemes I think is something that I think is is something I would support a lot. When organizations independently raise money, um, I think the government should try to support them as opposed to just helping organizations just because they're they're, they're selling well. Clearly tough times and almost a contradiction to ask for more giving when everything appears to be being cut. How can the sector reconcile that? Well, I think there is a lot of cutting going on, but the government is still funding a lot of things and there's still a lot of charities that are very dependent on government funding. I think that we should allocate that money to these successful ones and we, rather than often, I think there are organisations that are funded um, despite knowing that they're not a good sustainable model. And I think if the government can fund the sustainable ones, I think we'll all be better off. So we need, as you said, a bit more um, discretion, perhaps even ruthlessness within the giving sector, particularly on the government side. I think there certainly should be ruthlessness. I think there are too many charities, so many of them doing the same thing. And I think we should actually f you know, encourage them to work together. And if they can work together, I think we'll all be better off.